you join me on a gloriously sunny morning in the village of Avebury in uh, the middle of Wiltshire. I'm going to go for a walk today that's going to take me start around um, parts of Avebury Stone Circle then up onto the Downs and go to uh, uh, the area where a lot of the sarsen stones for Avebury and indeed possibly even Stonehenge came from uh, and then we'll drop down into um, Overton and uh, we may go to West Kennet Long Barrow and then back via Silbury Hill back into Avebury. I think it's about 10 miles in total. So here we are in uh, the midst of Avery World Heritage Site. So uh, you've got parts of the stone circle here and obviously all the, uh, the ditches etc. Um, the car park's already quite busy. I expect it's going to get very busy here later on because it's uh, first decent sunny day for a day uh, for this week and it's a school half term so um, people are going to take the opportunity to get out and about Pretty impressive round here. This big ditch, we're going to climb onto um, the outer ditch now, or outer embankment, and then walk round. We're only visiting half of the henge. We could spend all day walking around it here, but um, the aim of the day today is to go for a nice long walk. Um, so we're going to walk around. Semi, well, quarter of the monument, and then we're going to head off up uh, a uh, bridal way up onto the downs in front of us. Interesting looking tree, um, and all the roots. So we're now just leaving Avebury and we're heading out up to the Downs and we'll um, cross over the Ridgeway and then head down. So we've just come up to uh, cross the Ridgeway National Trail the start or end point is about half a mile in that direction at West Overton 
and obviously it carries on uh, for all the way to Buckinghamshire. Um, I've walked various parts of it but I haven't done the whole thing, it's, it's one of my uh, challenges for the future. But we're now crossing over it and we're heading off towards Fifield Down. Um, you can already see some fight with escape. Some evidence in the distance of the sarsen stones or grey weathers as they're uh, colloquially known because allegedly from a distance uh, they can be mistaken for sheep and grey weather was a type of sheep um, so that's what they're colloquially known as but yeah we'll get up close to some shortly This is Fifield Down. It was, until very recently, a National Nature Reserve, but it's for some reason had its uh, status withdrawn. But still an, an area of uh, scientific interest, I think, and protected landscape or some other terms. But anyway, as you can see, it's a valley of lots of little sandstone rocks um, I can't begin to describe the geological reasons for them being here because it's way above my head um, but needless to say our ancient ancestors spotted a use for some of these stones um, as you see in a minute we'll be coming up there's one huge one up here so um, yeah, they would certainly have been dragged from here down to Avebury. Um, recent scientific research is now saying that um, the Stonehenge sarsens might have come from a spot in West Overton Woods, which is about three or four miles away from here. But uh, um, anyway, still pretty spectacular for this sort of area because uh, we don't normally have rocks like this around on the chalklands of uh, Wiltshire um, it's probably a common occurrence further north in the Peak District and whatever but um, yeah around here very unusual to see here uh, these sorts of stones laying on the ground stones and even some of these little ones couldn't possibly move e very easily with just two or three people I mean some of those huge things they must have required hundreds of people to move them even on rollers nobody really knows how they did it lots of uh, hypotheses but it's still pretty much a mystery Ah, 
one or two uh, clouds bubbling up now. It's taking the edge off the temperature, but still just about able to cope without my coat on because I was uh, sweating too much with it on. We're just dropping down now um, towards the A4 in the distance. Um, and walk along that for a short period and then to avoid walking on it for too far we're going to go pop back up and do a short loop into another field of uh, the uh, sarsen stones and then we'll um, cross the A4 and uh, head um, I think it's towards West Overton. wasn't a pleasant experience um, although there was a pavement it was very narrow and vehicles are traveling past you at a great rate of knots anyway away from that walking up another one of these um gray weather valleys sarsen stones um this is a slight detour really i don't need to come this way but it just it's a bit more of interesting and it means I don't have to walk along the A4 for quite so far. It's a pretty impressive wall. <clears throat> no surprise in where they got the stone from to build it. But no, good use of it. A little bit boggy around here but never mind. the River Kennet and we're crossing over that now and heading up into West Overton. Take a slight detour past this pretty little cottage and have a look at the uh, pretty magnificent church. Pretty spectacular. Quite a big tower. That's such a small village. I'm not going to go in, but uh, yeah, quite impressive. More stone walls. I've not filmed anything for a while because it's been a bit like Piccadilly Circus around here. Um, I've just walked through the village of uh, West Kennet through some very boggy ground. I'm now uh, going to take a slight detour off the path to head up to uh, West Kennet Long Barrow up the hill up here but it's um, it's worth making the diversion for
So there's Silvery Hill, silhouetted against the sun. Um, another massive mound. I mean, I don't know how much this will do it justice, but it's a huge, great big mound. Nobody knows why it was made. It um, has been excavated in the past. There's nothing inside it. Um, so yeah, no obvious reason as to why it was made. Okay, just coming towards the end of the walk now. Just got to cross this road back into the car park. Yeah, I have to say, that's been a very enjoyable walk. Sorry about the traffic noise. It, um, we've had a good variety of different walking sort of types. Um, yeah, weather's been kind to us, it's been a bit chilly. But nothing too untoward and uh, yeah it's a good workout I think it's about ten and a half maybe 11 miles um, sort of I didn't do much filming towards the end because uh, there's just so many people about around um, West Kennet Long Barrow and Silbury Hill but uh, nevertheless hopefully I got some half decent footage and you enjoyed watching this I'll see you all again next time. Thanks for watching.